So I recently came across Terrence Howard on the internet, right? I woke up one morning, I was scrolling through the internet feeds and whatnot, and then I saw Terrence Howard on the Joe Rogan podcast, and bro, I'm like, let me check this out. Come to my finding outs, right? Bro is over here talking about some chromosomes. We're missing two chromosomes, and apes have two chromosomes, so where the chromosomes go and stuff like that. Bro really pissed me off with that one, people. I'm not gonna lie, right? And then I was like, you know who needs to talk about this stuff with him the the experts right neil tyson degrassi so that's what we check it out today folks i'm tired of hearing about terrence howard bro is a dinkaboo i recently learned Two i got name checked by terrence howard on his recent appearance on joe rogan i reached out to neil degrassi tyson neil degrassi tyson he was like, hey, man, yeah, I'd love for you to come on my show, do my radio, do my TV thing. I would love that. I was like, yeah, but let me, I've got something I want to introduce to you. I got name checked because eight years ago, he sent me a 36 page treatise. And it was only 36 pages. 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 So this is Terrence Howard attempting to <laughs> reinvent mathematics. Bro got the papers and, and everything. Physics. I'm ready for this one. A little backstory there. I Please enlighten this man. In because enlighten my him. mother said to me, uh, do you know Terrence Howard? I said, yeah, I know I mean, the actor. She said, yeah. Well, I heard him interviewed on NPR. On there, he said that like when he was a kid, he wanted to be like a scientist and study the universe. So said, well, this is where cool. it comes from. Okay, maybe we'll get him on Star Talk. When he was a kid, he wanted to be a scientist, but a soft geek underbelly. It didn't at end up time, like that. He ended up being an actor. So, him, but we met at a something called the Upfronts, which is where networks present their next That's where all the smart TV shows stuff come from. I saw him at an event um, uh, Upfront, and then this came in in my inbox. In this particular case, since I basically Goose, make sure you listen to this, bro. Because it's about to get good. I time reading every line of all 36 pages. And I commented. My comments are in red here. You see that? So I, I spent a lot of time on it. And I thought, out of respect for him, what I should do... Had a respect. ...is give him my most informed critical analysis that I can. In my field, we call that a peer review. You come up a with peer idea, review. There it is. You present it either at a conference Ask or you Howard if he has up, a peer review. You send it to your colleagues. It is hey, their Terrence, duty to did you get alert you of peer things about your ideas that are either misguided it's or like, wrong. It's or, like he think because his name is Terrence, he's the smart out, guy. The logic Bro, import. chill That's out, man. Not all ideas will turn out to be correct. Most won't be. But to get to that point, you need to know things like what has everyone else said about this same t subject? Am I repeating okay. someone else's work? Is this a new insight that no one else has had, but has foundations that are authentic or legitimate or objectively true? Am I making a false assumption? Am I making an assumption that someone else has already shown to be false? All of this goes on on the frontier of science. Let me make that it, it clear does. that I'm delighted when I see Neil, people come with on, bro. Minds try Roast to his ass. tackle the great unknowns in the universe. Come it's on, he dissed you, man. People want to participate. Bro, in this drop that diss track. What let's go. Is Time for the response. If you're a fan of a subject, let's say, a hobbyist, let's call it, it's possible to know enough about that subject to think you're right, but not enough about that subject to know that you're wrong. And so there's this well sort of valley in there. A valley of false confidence. This has been studied by others, and it's called the Dunning-Kruger effect. It's the phenomenon. It even has a, a name, Terrence. Terrence, they have a name for what you're talking about how much already. Of a subject you actually know. Yeah, you really the the more, you friend. Realize, no, I didn't know as much as I thought I did. So then there's a sort of a lull there, and then when you learn even more, you come back up. Ultimately, Bro didn't even know the experts been on that. Whether you were right or wrong. Shout out to Terrence Howard. To become Howard. an expert means you spend all this time it doesn't happen overnight you can't just sit in an armchair and say i'm now an expert it requires years and years of study and years and years of study tell them again where new ideas are published and contested that's what we have learned is the most effective means of establishing that which is objectively true or determining that which is objectively false both of those work hand in hand to move the needle on our understanding of the universe. I'm gonna read you just my opening 
Line yeah, start dissing them. I'm one ready. Times one <laughs> when nerds two. clash, y'all. So I lead off by saying that's the district. This is an ambitious work that is a clear indication of a restless, active mind. Within these pages, however, there are many assumptions and statements that are underinformed, misinformed, or simply false, thereby compromising or not. I'm gonna be the translator for y'all people. The subsequent conclusions you have drawn. That's exactly what should happen in a period. Basically what he said, dude, you dumb another, as hell. What are you talking about? We already studied this. From Terrence. What are you talking about? Why are you telling me stuff that we that studied and proved wrong? The root of a given number when added to itself is greater than the initial number squared. For that would expose a loose thread within the fabric of our understanding. A loose thread capable of unraveling the very ground rules of mathematics. So that's a bold statement. So then I, I just say, Mind this blown. opening thesis is false. There are plenty of examples of this. He straight up said it. No, bro, you're wrong. <laughs> His statement is shown to be false <laughs> for every number that's less than one and greater than zero. For okay. example, the square root of 0.64 is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is bigger than 0.64. And it's a larger number than the original. And... Point Wait, six, let me four, get this straight. Bro, really try to go back four, and forth zero, nine, with a known a scientist. One of the annoying to the ones, too. He's not even like the chill, laid back. I'm going to let you say your piece. Your stated thesis. You going to say your piece. I'm going to say my piece. And then I'm going to show you that you're wrong. No, Neil Tyson the grass will get on your ass. You get what I'm saying? He's annoying. He's a wrong guy. I considered Terrence a strong acquaintance. Then we hung out a bit. With so many choices on Booking.com, there are so many Tina Fey's I could be. So Fuck I Fuck Tina Fey. Fuck you too. And had much exchange. We haven't spoken much since then. But go to page two. <laughs> they haven't spoken since. Here, Terrence got upset. He mentions people who he declares were persecuted because their vision exceeded the myopic view of their contemporaries. And he mentions Walter Russell, Nikola Tesla, John Keeley. And he's and not wrong Moore. about these people, but you're not one of them, Terrence. You're not a Nikola Tesla, bro. You're not inventing electric cars in your garage that runs off the freaking magnetic fields of the universe and, and whatnot. Russell, you're Russell over Russell here talking about vibrations. Any experimental support and the work of and and in, is what do you call anthropomorphic traits to um, reproducibility, inanimate, inanimate objects and whatnot. Crazy fun idea ever. And if I perform an Stop experiment, and no one can things. duplicate that experiment. Terrence. It belongs in the trash heap. It's me in my own world, thinking I have landed on an objective truth, when in fact I haven't. That's how science works: the reproducibility of results. Bro, is this the work of Tesla? Much of it had very real value to physics and our understanding of electromagnetism. And that Thank you. Is Nikola Tesla was actually a scientist. Community. He actually knew things. Of a unit of he was actually in the field, y'all. You can't get Cut more though. badass than having a unit named after you. Newton has a unit named after him. Okay. For example, the metric unit of force is a Newton. Much knew of the rest of his work was fringe and unrealized, either for violating Bro, he even got a unit physics, named after him, the Tesla, the Newton. Impractical. Where the Howard at? Some good stuff, Who cares? Everything you ever did Howard? is going to be great. I will further affirm that you just because an idea sounds nothing. crazy, go back to acting, wrong. friend. The system of research and publications in peer-reviewed journals has the capacity to spot crazy but true ideas, provided they're supporting by compelling arguments. You know what pisses me off the most? It's like, bro, you're an actor. These people spend their entire lives studying these things, doing equations and stuff. They're nerds. Why you come over here bothering them, telling them they're wrong about this? When you ever did an experiment or feel with them, with them, with the real ones? Huh? Those three researchers. Attack that I immediate that I talked about. Walter Russo and Victor Schauberger and John Keeley as and Tesla as the people that I looked up to. So Tesla. he threw shit on on he was like, well, Tesla. He need to mention the chromosomes. Bring up the chromosomes, Terrence. Never really respected and out there. When I'm just simply stating the fact, I don't think of that as trashing. I think of that as being honest. I mean, I could have softened it, but I don't think that's what people who care about you should do. People who care will be honest with you about ideas 
about thoughts. Honest with the you. Is changing so I told you he's annoying as hell. Around us. That's the right guy for the job. We have chosen to remain handcuffed to antiquated and obsolete beliefs. We have put an enormous amount of faith, faith into faith. the methods. That's and wrong. He already old. jacked up. Science don't work off of faith, friend. As the men who propagated the notion trial and error, tested and tested and tested and tested and tested again. Here, regarding your world Is it come up reference, a number of times the same. That the it's consistent. We could go with that. Predates that ain't faith, friend. And development of the methods and tools of science as we practice them today. Those processes date back to around 1600, coincident with the invention of the microscope and telescope. Before then, truths were whatever seemed right to the senses. Afterwards, and to this day, Nah, Neil scrubbed him out on this district. Tamed by your instruments, forced you Attained to believe by your instruments. if your senses otherwise contradicted the data. Contradicted the data. That there's no well, you know, saying stuff like that. on the scale of the flat earth in the era of modern science. And in multiple places throughout the treaties, he's attaching a number to a physical idea or a physical object. That idea goes way back, by the way. Go back How to far Pythagoras, back? Cop? Famous for the Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem, which we all the know. The Pythagorean in. theorem? Eighth grade, was it, or ninth grade? Pythagoras was also I heard about that a guy. philosopher who tried to understand all the way back then worked. that's what you're telling me he felt among others in his group that if you assign a number to something the number can imbue that object with certain meaning and significance which means then if you manipulate the numbers that you gain insight into the objects themselves once you've assigned a number to it there's a lot of that that permeates this document uh, but it's a long disproven approach to the world Again, there's nothing wrong with a failed idea. Now other people know to not do it, right? That has value. If we place Terrence a camera didn't in front know. of he didn't mirror, hear the not measurement to do it. of light is doubled, is it not? It does not measure as only one light source. We actually see two lights. A light meter will show twice the intensity of light. This is false. He attacked it so with <laughs> such vitro. Uh, maybe that's too blunt. He learned a couple big words say, and now he think he about to. That's what I would tell a colleague. A colleague who then say would thank you the beef with the, for beer the scientists. That's how that works. And there's an old saying. I first heard it from Michael Dell of Dell Technologies. If one day you find yourself the smartest person in the room, change rooms. I say this is false. The light in the mirror appears dimmer than the source of light itself. Dang, he is this film. Starting with the fact that no mirror is 100% reflective. But more importantly, the candle in the mirror is always farther away from you than the candle itself. So the light meter will always read less than twice the actual value of the candle itself. I will note that from this work, Terence produces art, sculptural art, which I find to be intriguing, even beautiful. To me, more intriguing than beautiful, because you, the, you gotta look at it and you keep looking at it, like, what is that? And what's going on there? I just wanna read you my <laughs> ending comments here. Nah, Neil is sneaky with it. He just threw in like last two pages. jabs and an uppercut. The illustrations that derive from them <laughs> more intriguing are than beautiful, because like, I'm looking at it like, like, what is this? My notes have been strongly critical of your reasoning and conclusions. I was candid and blunt out of respect for the energy you have clearly invested in this work. He but did too much sure investing because he's still he's not working. And that I have completely misunderstood your thesis, then you will need to look for another person to evaluate what you have done and solicit their comments. In any case, like I say above, the images and illustrations in your final pages are beautiful works of art, unlike any I have seen. Best to you, Neil. So, in case people wanted to know what actually went down eight years ago, just always be cautious of the Dunning-Kruger effect. You put in a little bit of work and you have an idea, and then you think your idea is right, and that Einstein is wrong, and Newton is wrong, and then everybody's wrong. Einstein is wrong, Newton is wrong, everybody's wrong. I'm wrong, you're wrong, your granny's wrong. That's bold. That's bold. Audacious. Bodacious. Bodacious. When continental drift was proposed, it was like, what? Land masses are moving on Earth's surface. That's a weird idea. That's going to be a hard sell. We think there's sort of up swelling of the, yes, locally, but whole continents move. That's crazy. It would take 
a few decades until ultimately, when we're mapping the bottom of the ocean, we find that there's a mid-Atlantic ridge that the ridges are separating, like bada bing. So the resistance to jumping on the idea that continents move was not because people were stubborn, it was because people are cautious. Any As you should be. needs to be put through the ringer. Put them through works. the ringer, bro. I put it through the ringer. Every possible. You don't just can. gain two not chromosomes and turn into like an ape, Terence. That's not how it works. You don't just turn into oh, a chimpanzee, bro. Fossils matched between the west coast this of South America pisses me off, and people. the east coast of Africa. Not recent fossils. Fossils from millions of years ago. That's interesting. Things that make you go, hmm. That brought some more people over to the camp. You keep that up, and you reach a point where enough evidence is brought to bear on the question and then you have a new he ain't emerging got no truth. evidence but neil the, the he don't got no energy that goes on at conferences and the contest of ideas that's how we roll that's how he just works. got faith when einstein came out with relativity saying space time curves albert al what are you saying what are you doing well you can test it with the total solar eclipse so the idea comes out in 1915 is published in 1916 1919 we measure the light around the edge of a total solar, during a total solar eclipse, because you can't see the stars during the daytime. You see the light, the light rays bent from their actual coordinate positions on the sky. Sir Arthur Eddington, an astrophysicist, provided the first experimental evidence for Einstein's- Bro is dropping knowledge, which, listen up, way, Terrence. Published in a peer I hope you're journal. hearing this. Crazy idea. The platform I bet he isn't. to be Except it's probably somewhere with a Scientologist or something. Is not social media. I wouldn't be surprised it if he is, is a Scientologist. Joe Rogan. It is not my podcast. It is research journals where attention can be given on a level that at the end of the day offers no higher respect for your energy and intellect than by declaring that what's in it is either right or wrong or worthy of publication or not. I wanted to post this to my website so you can see my comments mixed in with his tweets. And he posted it on his website. Uh, Check out the diss track, y'all. A sense of it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for yeah, watching. Yeah, mixtape dropping this summer. It's called Terrence is a Fool. Well, there you have it, folks. Terrence, you have like, you have 72 hours to respond, bro. Because right now you're talking about chimpanzees and two chromosomes and then lights and, and things and vibrations and bro. Leave them that to the scientists. Ah, this guy pisses me off. I'm going to bring y'all a video of him chatting that foolishness too. Check out my last video. I, I'm going to see y'all in the next one.